Syracuse has scored an undefeated season, and the team carries Ben Schwartzwalder off the field. One of our coaches told me, he says, Jerry, you will never, ever forget this. To your dying days, you will remember and cherish this national champion. We had a good year the year before, and uh, we had a real strong team coming back, and we we're deep. We had a lot of depth, and uh, Coach Bennett uh, really conditioned us that, boys, you can go as far as you want to go, and, and that was his whole theme of the whole year. Ben would work you eight hours a day if he could, and he realized that going into the next season. So when I was elected captain, he uh, called me in his office. He says, I know I'm a tyrant, and I know I work you guys too hard. He said, I want to get it from a player's perspective. If you feel practice has been too long, you know, just let me know. We worked out a signal, and I let him know. He said, relapse. That was the end of uh, practice. He was a tough guy. When he'd say something, everybody would listen. You know, and they, and they, and they had his respect. And uh, he was just a you know, small man, and nobody would expect that respect out of him, I guess. But uh, he, he received it, and, uh, so, and thank God he did, and we won. He'd challenge anybody to do push-ups with him or climb the ropes with him. And he'd, he could whoop anybody. But he says he liked to get the Italians and the Polacks and the Greeks up here. So he liked, the, he liked myself, he liked uh, Shalakas, and uh, he liked Ron Luciano because we hit the sled quite hard. And he says that's the way he should be hit. I loved him. He was a, he was a tough, hard-nosed guy. And uh, the thing I really appreciate about him, he, he treated us as men. And uh, his expectations were high for us. And uh, he looked out for us. I don't think we had that uh, real big uh, uh, expectations. Uh, I don't. It just happened that we started and we just got rolling and rolling and rolling and things just kept rolling for us and things. It's just like a puzzle. We went together and we all worked together and and you know a lot of times you know, we lucked out here, we lucked out there, or, and a lot of times we uh, weren't lucky. We were good. I don't care who played, who came into the game. It was a very fine line whether you were first string, second string, third string. Even the greenies that we called with had the utmost respect and were a lot of them great ball players. So the depth was the secret of the 59 team. The opposing teams would often say, uh, don't hurt the first stringers because the second stringers are better. Our starting team and our alternate team, there was so much, there was so little uh, difference between them. At one second, at one game, at one moment, anybody could overtake the other on their position. So you had to be at the top of your game. Every every Monday, you'd go downstairs and check the depth of the chart to see if you're still on it, you know? It, it was something. One guy made 10, 11 yards in one play, didn't make the traveling team the next week because he should have had 15. That's how done was. 